Hi, and welcome back to Forge by Geeks Plays Kingdom Death Monster. Um, not the best fight we've ever had. <laughs> I don't know. Mission fucking accomplished, man. Huh? Yeah, we, we fought the tyrant. Uh, our goal was to get uh, a constellation for Fuchsia Noble, and was also to get the pristine ability from the death blow. We got the constellation from Fu for Fuchsia Noble pretty easily. The death blow came literally down to the final attack and a random card coming into the deck. If we had gotten a card that wasn't a first strike, we would have gotten death blow. Uh, unfortunately, we got a first strike, it moved it in front, we didn't get death blow. But on the plus side, we did win and we only lost one character. <laughs> and he bled to death, even though we had bandages, we just weren't paying that much attention. We we're really spread out. I and wasn't stuff. expecting actually the person who had bandages was standing like right next to her. I just didn't oh, think about it. Yeah, we had three bleeds, we got another two. It happens. Um it wasn't a character we were worried about losing, so that was good. But overall pretty good. Um but I haven't mentioned this in a while. The link I just put on screen is to our Facebook event for the launch of Defense Grid the board game. We'll be launching in oh hell just over a month now. A month and a week. So uh, hopefully you'll check out the board game, Defense Grid, the board game. We've got our minis uh, now in small run production. Uh, we've got to send out a review copy to Rado and possibly a couple of other people. And then, uh, yeah, we're getting really close uh, to that, going to PAX South where we'll be demoing it. We've got a gorgeous booth. We finished design. I'm paying up everything next week. Uh, we also have uh, two guys working on tabletop simulator implementations of at least Mission 1, possibly also Mission 2. Uh, in addition, we've if you didn't find, notice, we're now doing Seafall for our streaming every other week. That'll be happening next week. Our overlay didn't work very well last time. It's uh, almost 300 layer overlay, but we've got somebody coding up uh, to make it one layer using web for us. So we're hoping that'll be done by next week, but no guarantees yet. So a lot of stuff coming along right now. Yeah. So hopefully uh, if, if you're at all interested in Defense Grid, the board game, or just want to help support us when we go to Kickstarter, please follow that Facebook link and sign up for the event, and it will remind you when we kick off the Kickstarter. We really need that day one backing. So other than that, I think we're good to go on our settlement phase. So we return to settlement. Uh, anything happen with survivors returning? Uh, no. Okay. So next we gain endeavors. We get plus one because of the death, correct? Yeah. Okay. Effectively. So we will have five endeavors. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, and good fun. I just got it confirmed with Twitch. We're going to be live streaming Defense Grid the board game right as the Kickstarter kicks off. Neat. On the Twitch homepage. Wow. <laughs> so we're super we're super excited about that. So settlement event. Dun, dun, dun. Did you shuffle? Yes. <laughs> Heat wave. Ah. It is impossibly hot. Any returning survivors with heavy or fur gear have heat stroke and may not depart this lantern. Oh, wait. I don't have anybody that's alive wearing heavy or fur gear. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> How about uh, you? Yeah. Unfortunately, both of my characters have either heavy or some fur gear. Okay. So yeah. they can't depart. Yep. Alrighty. All right, the heat wave prevents science and education endeavors, which we do not have any right now. No. Uh, if you depart with heavy gear in your gear grid, set your survival to zero after applying all bonuses. Ooh. So you can, we have two endeavor options. We have find fluid, which is a 1d10, 1 through 5, find nothing, 6 through 7, you may depart with heavy gear normally, or 8 plus, your settlement finds enough fluid to deal with the heat, you may endeavor normally. Hmm. Breathe fumes is the other option, d10, 1 through 5, uh, plus 1 understanding, but pass out and skip next hunt. 6 through 7, random order, disorder, and intimacy. And 8 <laughs> plus, gain the extra sense fighting art. That's Ooh. actually really useful. Extra sense, it's just a regular, not secret? Yeah. Um, I think it allows you to dodge twice, maybe? I think so. Uh, and then there is a cooking locked one, which would allow yes, us to gain... Yes, you can dodge time. an additional time each round. We, there's an additional one, but we do not have cooking, so we cannot get it. Alrighty. Alright, update the death count. Plus one death. Yep. Alas, poor... Who the fuck was it? <laughs> Alabaster. Alabaster! 
Alabaster? Come on, you took Alabaster? Yeah. Oh. What, you like Alabaster? I love the name Alabaster. That's <laughs> an awesome name. You just ruined it. You ruined it. Okay, so update the timeline. Year five, that is Midnight's Children. Ooh, new event. Well, not new, new. Yeah, we did it before. Yes. In 3.0. Event. So, at least I think it's Midnight's Children. If it's not, I'm going to be super disappointed. We need to get the... <laughs> just print out the thing. That's all you need to do. Yeah, I need to print out the set. Well, you can look in the dragon. Oh, you looked in it. I looked to make sure. It's just I'd really like to have, you know, the Yeah, yeah. Print. You could print it. It's harder for me to print it. You you print everything. Oh, yeah, fair. So it's all set up. <laughs> so what's Midnight's Children? Midnight's Children. Weakness is anathema to strength. The tyrant descends the obsidian staircase with a gift. It places the gift at the settlement center, and heat washes over the cold stone ground for the first time. The oh, no, no, it gains... didn't. We're, we're heated fine right now. <laughs> <laughs> the settlement gains the radiant orb innervation. Dude, you have to be a little bit fucking careful with this shit. You know, like, this is probably the cause of the fucking heat wave. <laughs> <laughs> the tyrant beckons each survivor into the light. No. Yeah. The gathered survivors marvel at their reflection in the gleaming obsidian. So we need at least four survivors with a dragon trait, and I think we've got that. And how, yeah. Yes, we've got uh, that. Departing survivors and newborn survivors gain plus one survival. Departing survivors with a constellation gain plus one survival. Add lantern oven, oven consequences to the innovation deck. Where's our innovation deck? Here. Ah. I just haven't gotten that out yet. Okay. Because we're not innovating this round anyways. Oh. We're so that adds cooking shit. and scratch smelting. We didn't get shit from, like, the fight other than the investments. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Marvel at their reflection. Count the number of survivors in the settlement that have at least one dragon trait. Four or more, a flickering reflection. Among the survivors, dim reflections in the polished black stone of the settlement. The ghosts of, dra of the dragons appear to walk among the settlements. Roll 1d4. No, 10. <laughs> Four? <laughs> what the fuck, Eva? Eight. Oh, good. I almost had a ten. Oh my god, you're so fucking lucky. Why? The tyrant calls up one hopeful survivor with no dragon traits. They place their hands upon the swirling surface of the radiant orb. Skin charring in its heat, they gain the red fist secret fighting art and the following ability. Pristine. <gasps> we got pristine? We got pristine. So put it on a mail. Yep. And what was the secret fighting art? Uh, red Fist. Red Fist. At the start of each showdown, each survivor gains a plus one strength token. Survivors may spend plus one strength tokens in place of survival. Nice. Interesting. Okay, so Umber gains the Red Fist Secret Fighting Art. Nice. And the Pristine Ability. Oh, thank God. So we can pass that down now through, is it Bloodlines? Yes. Awesome! We can pass on Oracle's Eye and Pristine. And a surname, and half of a weapon proficiency level. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Now watch, we'll take him in for fucking intimacy, and then they'll, like, fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just like... You'll roll like fucking double ones. No, okay. me? Never. That is well, I've been rolling a one on every intimacy I've done. Yeah, it's just, thank God, we're I've... not doing, uh, the whatchamacallit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we are in develop. Okay, we have nothing we can really, we can't even innovate, can we? No, because we have no organs. Didn't think so. So, pretty much all we're doing is fucking like rabbits. Yeah, we can either heat wave or we can augury. I would say, like, so... Do one fine fluid. Really? Yeah, see if we get the heavy gear normally. Uh, okay. One fine thing. And what's the you may endeavor normally? Uh, because we can't use science or, uh, something else endeavors. Oh, science or education, which I don't think of. No, no. I don't think of. Uh, radiant orb. Okay, yeah, but we can't endeavor. Oh, that's not that an endeavor, location. yeah. Okay. Ooh. It's only a 20% chance, so maybe no. We just lose survival going out, and we're going to hunt another white... We'd probably switch to a white lion to get some hide to start building leather. Yeah. 
that we may want to start talking about doing Phoenix. We can't do Phoenix yet. Oh, we can't? No. It's oh. like two more like two more years before oh. we can hunt a Phoenix. Oh, okay. But when we get there, we may want to seriously talk about doing Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Okay, so breathe fumes, is that the one we possibly wanted to do? Yeah, it's basically the same as uh, it, it has a higher chance of understanding without the negative of needing to um uh whatchamacallit. But I think you skip next hunt if you get the understanding. Um no. Okay, what, what's the other thing you Oh, wait, out? no. Uh, skip next hunt if you get the understanding. 50% chance. Okay. 20% uh, chan chance of intimacy and 30% chance of getting extra sense. Um, I'm thinking we put that, we try to get Fuchsia the extra sense through that. Uh, okay. Um, what do you think? Okay. Okay, so I'll do one on that. Uh, oh, yeah. Not understanding with fumes would be nice because you can keep going with it. Yeah. Um, anybody benefit? Anybody close on understanding actually? All of reincarnated could. Uh, Periwinkle is at five understanding, but she'd need pristine to reach the final constellation. That Which isn't going to happen. No. Um, Umber doesn't have any. Uh, does has pristine already, but has no understanding. Okay. But getting Destin's going to be hard for him now. Does Olive have Destin? Olive has Destin. Okay, so getting her nine understanding could work. Yeah, and she also has Oracle's Eye, so she'd just need a Scar in order to complete the Witch Constellation. Um... Okay. She has Pristine, though, right? Uh, no, she has Oracle's Eye. Who has Pristine? Umber. Oh, but he doesn't have Destin. Yes. Okay, so that's not going to work. Then we should do who has Oracle's Eye. Okay. So that will that'll mean we if we happen to get extra sense on her, we'll switch to doing Fuchsia. Okay. Okay. Though, so, actually, one more understanding on Fuchsia, and I get the Awake. Is yeah, that valuable? Well, I mean, it's the same thing as always. Like, it, it gets you a possibility of a surname, it gets you and, uh, and a stat boost. Oh, okay. But Olive's in the same situation. Okay, so let's do Olive until possibly Extra Sense, and then we'll switch to uh, Fuchsia. Okay. Three. Gain an understanding, must skip. So you awake. I awake. Awake is going to be... Alright, a tooth grinding crescendo of emotion suddenly stops, leaving you in a moment of serene clarity. You are weightless and only your thoughts give you body substance. The world bends around you. Everything you need to conquer is already within you, waiting for you to reach it. Four, gain plus one permanent evasion, a random fighting art, and the noble surname. Okay. Oh. So, so she went from reincarnated Beth to noble. That works. <laughs> oh, that's right. Fuchsia's now Fuchsia reincarnated. Yes. And a random fighting card, yes. Good spell. Oh. Okay. So, you get extra sense. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay, so switching over to Fuchsia. Yes. Spending an endeavor. Four. I awake. And I will be skip. Roll a 1d10. Three. Gain the following based on the current game phase. Settlement phase. Gain plus two endeavors only you can spend. Ah, oh, shit. Well, actually, that, that thing, that's not too bad. Yeah, so it's going to put them on her or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's it? Yep. Okay, then I will go spend those two on this. Okay. Six. Gain a random disorder and intimacy. Okay. Are all disorders in the deck? Uh, they should be. Okay. Oh, forgot to spend that. So we do get an intimacy. So who do we want to fuck like rabbits? Do we have anybody with weapon proficiency to hand down? Uh, yes, though they are in the middle. Okay, so we can't use that. We need Pristine from the mail, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, pristine and Oracle's Eye. Can we get both of those in? Pristine. Yes, we could theoretically get Pristine and Oracle's Eye. Though, you know, I, 
Yeah, I mean, we have to risk it in some way. Yeah. This would be the no, time... No, we can't get both Christine and Oracle's Eye because Bloodline won't let us do that. Or... We'll choose one. Okay, so which one do we want to try to hand, hand down first? Christine is rarer. Okay, then let's do Christine. And then, is that the male or female? That's the male. Okay, so now we just need a female, preferably with some uh, weapon proficiency. Uh, I have no females with weapon proficiency. Okay. Uh, wait, uh, we could do all of... No, that's the same person with the Oracle's Eye. I'd really prefer not to risk it. No. Yeah, I'd rather not risk so that I'll right put away. All of our eggs in a bunch basket. Yeah. And Periwinkle has uh, destroyed genitals. So yeah. She can't all go we need it. is one per weapon proficiency. No. None of them have it. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I do have a weapon proficiency level, but it's a male. Yeah. All oh. of our people are males. Okay, so pull up the intimacy chart. Oh, and I gained post traumatic stress on Fuchsia. Uh, next settlement phase, you do not contribute or participate in any endeavors. Skip the hunt to recover. Okay. So what else? We have surname and... And half-weapon proficiency. And the other thing. So Umber doesn't have a surname. We have... We could put Jade Noble up. Where at least she will provide the um, surname. She'll provide the noble surname. Yeah, let's do that. Um, and she has clear understanding, so if we get the dragon's inheritance, we can. Oh, uh, we can pass that. Yeah. It'll only be one in understanding, which kind of sucks, but you know whatever. Well, no, three. It rounds off. I thought. No, for the understanding, it's rounds down. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's roll the two dice. Yeah. Seven and one. <laughs> <laughs> the tyrant is pleased. Plus one population and choose one dragon's inheritance with new survivor. So, uh... First, newborn gets the pristine. Gets a surname, noble. No weapon proficiency. And then whatever is in the dragon inheritance. Okay, so pristine and noble. Okay, so our dragon inheritance is we can choose courage, understanding, fighting arts. So we could take thrill seeker if we wanted to. Uh, no disorders, and we already got the surname. So our choices are one understanding or thrill seeker. Hmm, that's a hard choice. Thrill seeker is any time you gain a survival in the showdown, gain another survival. Which works really well with the rawhide. Yeah, set. let's do a thrill seeker. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. Yes. And her name is going to be Viridian. How are we doing on names? Uh, we have uh, five more names. Okay, so we're good. Okay. So next heat wave check. A three, which gets me another understanding. Mm -hmm. Um, and nothing else, I don't think. Nope. Okay, so I have four understanding on this character, but I still haven't gotten extra sense. Okay. Um, but ooh, I'd have to. What's tough again? Uh, tough is um plus one, uh, to rolls that are not a one. You know, I think I'm not going to roll with this anymore. I don't want extra sets. I've got Unbreakable, Frozen Star, and Tough. Okay. So we need somebody else who could use some understanding. Uh, I mean, we could always put up the new person. And maybe some extra sets. Oh, the person who got pristine? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Understanding and skip. Understanding and skip. Okay. I'm rolling twos like mad. Seriously. Understanding and skip. I rolled a three that time. She awakens. She awakens. Oh, awesome. So roll for the waken. Yes. Eight. I'm not sure I want you rolling, honestly. Uh, plus one permanent evasion and the champion's right fighting art. Oh, nice. And... Pristine. Yeah, so if we could get one accuracy and one courage, that 
that's another avenue towards... Uh, I think that would be Reaper. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. And you got... Oh, yeah. Okay, that was, you already did all the Bloodline stuff on that person. Yes. Okay, so we're out of Endeavors. Alrighty, then. So, I think that's it for this one, right? Yeah, because we don't have anything new to build. So, nothing special coming up next Lantern Year? Um, I don't think so. Uh, let me check this. Let's see. Uh, nope, nothing special next year. Okay, so just a reminder, please follow our Facebook event. For those on Twitch, please stick around. We're going to head into Pathfinder Adventure card game Mummy's Mask in a couple of minutes. We've got to clean this up and set up naturally. Uh, for those on YouTube, thank you for joining, and please check out our other videos. And if you haven't already, please check out the Kingdom Death Monster 1.5 Kickstarter that's live right now. It's As you can see, it's an awesome game, and honestly, they deserve every penny they've earned in this. And if you haven't already backed, they deserve your pennies too. Yeah, even if Adam seems like a troll, it's really awesome. So, yeah, yeah. It. Thank you very much.